unfortunately, you know, this is an exercise that the commission should have done 10 years ago when the OAS brought it to their attention in, after the 2012 election and their report stating that, that, the, that there needed to be a, a redivisioning because the, the constituencies were not nearly as equal. Um, in 2015, uh, our group attempted to take it to court, but it did not, uh, it did not gain much traction. And so in 2018 is when we started our move uh, preempting the, the 2020 election to, to make sure that we could have a constitutional election. And you will recall that in the first sitting of the, of the case before Judge Benjamin, the government tried to have their, through their attorneys, uh, ask for our case to be struck out. And Judge Benjamin was very straightforward in telling them that, no, this was a very legitimate case and that he was going to hear it. Of course, you know that Judge Benjamin was later retired and, and then it went to Justice Arana and, and what have you. But the UDP had a good year and a half to two years to have fixed the problem, and they did not. Instead, they sought to fight ordinary citizens who just wanted to make sure that their vote was equal to every other vote. And then when we filed an injunction to stop what we still believe was an unconstitutional election, then both parties came at us with their top attorneys and Certainly they won that injunction in convincing the judge that they had spent millions already in campaign financing and it was too late to, to, to stop it. Be that as it may, um, we did win the consent order which uh, forced them to do this redistricting and to hand us a report. So our case was stayed. It was only put on hold pending the result of this report. And if this report is in conformity with the with the constitution then we're good to go